Today, guys, I'm doing a QA. This is my first ever QA video on my channel, and I'm very nervous, guys. So, I asked you guys to send me questions on YouTube here, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know what you want to know a little about me on YouTube, but Instagram and Facebook, there are a lot of questions, so I'm going to answer them right, <laughs> right away. So, the first question is. Are you educated? The answer is yes, I am educated. I'm an accountant. I've already stated that here on my channel. So I'm not going to mention any name because some of them have requested to remain anonymous. So I'm going to mention anybody's name. So that's the, the first question for you. And the, quest, the next one is Are you in a relationship? The answer to that is also yes. I'm in a very loving, committed, relationship and I'm happy in it. The third question is, are you a Christian? The answer to that is, yes, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. So I'm a Christian. I'm also a believer. I don't know whether there's any difference between the two, but I'm a Christian. I'm a believer in God and Jesus Christ. The next question is, are you a private person? The answer is, yes, I am a private person. I do like to share certain part of my life, but I really love, love to keep others very private, so I'm a very private person. I don't like to share everything about my life. Even in real life, I don't want everybody to know everything that's going on in my life. I share some and I keep some, so I'm a very private person. If that's, if that, I hope I've answered the question. The next question is, you care about people or what people think about you? <laughs> the answer to the first part of the question is, yes, I do care about people. I care about people's feelings. I always want to be in peace or be at peace with people. So yes, I do care about people. And then the answer to the next part of the question, which is, you care about what people think about you. What I would say to that is, make sure what people are saying about you, especially the negative ones, are know who you really are. Search within you if there's any element of truth in what they are saying. Try as much as you can to do something about it. Or I would say change from it. If not, forget about it because people are always going to have something to say about you. People are always going to have the opinion about you. So that is it. If that's it for the that question. If I care about people, like I care about people's feelings, people around me, but what others think about me, especially people who are not close to me, what they think about me. If it's not true, guys, I don't really bother because that's just life. So that's what I would say to it. Search within you. If there's any element of truth, change. Try as much as possible to do something about it. If not, guys, forget about it. That's just life. And then the next question is, your environment looks different in your videos. Have you moved? Yes, I have moved. I have moved from... The family house now I'm, i have got my own place i'm on my own now that's why you see everything around me different the background and everything so yes i've moved <laughs> the next question is she hooked up with a lot of guys that is not true <laughs> i didn't hook up with a lot of guys that's a false assumption guys do you and your boyfriend get freaky all the time <laughs> you guys are funny guys um i'm celibate i'm celibate so we don't get freaky all the time. Not all the time, we don't get freaky at all. And with that being said, guys, what I will say to that is, if you feel it's the right thing to do in a relationship, go for it. That's what I will say. If you feel it's right, the time and everything is right, 
just, it's just I would say it's just the desire, guys. Just the desire. If you feel it's right within you in your spirit that it's right for you to do it, go ahead. If not, because we have decided to make it more God centered relationship, so we don't get freaky out. So I'm celibate, guys. So if you feel it's right within your spirit, I would say go for it. So that's it for that. I hope I've answered the question. Question nine. Question number nine. Lessons from 2022. The question actually goes like, what lesson do you learn from 2022? In 2022, there was, a, there was a lot of things I wanted to do that I kept pushing it back that I couldn't do it. So, and now I've regretted not doing it because I've, it means I've delayed certain things that I should have get over it. So what I would say is, look, anything you want to do, just start right now. Don't wait till a later date. Just start. Just start. And you really thank me later. So I've learned not to postpone. So anything you want to do, just start right away. Don't postpone, don't push anything aside to later day, just start right away. So that's my lesson for 2022. So that's enough questions slash assumptions for the day. I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much. You know, it wasn't as scary as I imagined it to be. Thank you guys so much for being lily into with me in my first Q&A video. Thank you guys so much. So I'm going to end it right here. Guys, what do you think of my look? Guys, I'm loving it. If you want me to film it, please comment below and I will recreate the look. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.